Hope on the shores of Lake Tanganyika. Crowds of refugees from Burundi are finally thinning as refugees wait for ships to carry them away from the isolated village of Kagunga. 60-year-old Indikumana Foyibe and her family arrived two weeks ago. She brought her mother, children, and grandchildren, four generations forced to flee political violence at home. They've been waiting for a ferry ride to Kigoma, where there is shelter, food, space to breathe. The government of Tanzania declared an outbreak of cholera among the refugees. Some 3,000 cases have been reported, more than 300 new cases per day. 31 people have died of the disease so far. UNHCR estimates as many as 50,000 people have packed into the tiny fishing village of Kagunga. When the first refugees arrived, there were no doctors, little access to clean water, no toilets. Thousands of people had no place to sleep. Humanitarian agencies have scrambled to provide badly needed services. Now there's a health clinic. Refugees also have better access to hygiene. But with tens of thousands of refugees needing help, getting them out of Kagunga remains the best solution. Things didn't improve until uh, recently, so one week later, and it has been because of the discongestion. So we have been uh, um, evacuating the people at the rate of 2,000 per day because uh, the environment there was really, really bad. And uh, the best solution to save these lives is uh, to evacuate them as soon as possible. Since then, ferrying them to safety has become an even more urgent task. After waiting patiently for weeks, Ndikumana and her family will finally ride the MV Liemba to safety. They'll join the celebration with others making the journey. Though many more still have days to wait, help is on the way. For Ndikumana, the relief is unimaginable. After worrying about her family's daily survival, she now dreams of the future.